Hi, YouTubers. This is Kathy Stevenson trying to do this collaboration with Rose at Wholesome Roots. But I have a two-year-old today, and he is a handful today. His sister is in the bed asleep, thinking, finishing out her nap. But he got woke up, and he is not a happy camper. So he's only got two grapes left. Nina. No, I don't want them. You eat them. Mm. No, they don't want them either. Um. So, the collaborations, the good, the bad, and the ugly. The good is, is that I'm alive. I'm able to homestead. My health is bad. And gets ugly. There are days when I can't even get out of the bed. Thank God I have uh, a good support group. My family is very good to me and help me all that they can. Um, I try to help them. I, I take care of my grandbabies a couple of days a week for my daughter and uh, she helps me. And sometimes I take care of my son's children and I'm able to barter for the fish that he uh, he gets um, it helps out with uh, food here on the homestead and uh, he hasn't figured out that I put the chains on the door yesterday because he was getting out and now he cannot get out the door and he keeps trying to go out the backyard. Well, I didn't have a problem with that for a very long time. I let him go out back and play. Well, uh, this is the bad things that happen. The gate needs to be fixed on the fence. So the dog, when she's ready to come back in, if I let her out back and the gate is not uh, ha doesn't have something pushed up against it, she can get out that gate and she comes back around and goes to the front door and lets me know that she needs back in the house. She don't want to be outside no more. Well, she has taught him that he can go out the back and go around and come in the front door. But I put chains on the door so that he cannot get out the door anymore. And he is baffled on why he can't get out, out the doors. He can open it, but he can't get out of it. So if he doesn't tear my doors down, I'll be all right. Anyways, uh, I just have to overlook hear, hearing him trying to open the door. So getting back to my good, the bad, and the ugly... The really great thing is, is even though my health is failing in some parts because of the chemo and radiation, I'm, I'm growing more strength and able to actually do things. I believe that's why I'm not depressed about my circumstances. I see no reason to be depressed whenever I can go out and spend time with the Lord, digging in my yard and growing things. And he feeds me not only spiritually, but uh, through the food that I grow when I'm when I'm with him. Um, I'm getting cleaner food because I don't have to worry about chemicals or anything like that. The bad thing is, is the weather. Um, it stays hot here pretty much around. But on the good side of that hot weather... It also enables a lot of things to grow. So I have usually longer time frame to grow things, including uh, winter, uh, you know, your fall winter gardens are much more plentiful because 
I don't have to worry about snow or freezes that often. Um, the bad thing is that I have pests because of all the heat. Brings in a lot of um, unwanted pests. Living in um, a town, I still have predator problems, which is bad. Um, I um, have issues with uh, possums and uh, stuff like that, getting my quails uh, and my rabbits. And we have, we had a house that was behind us that was vacant and all run down. And I don't know if they finally made them clean it up and get it right, but they did. They came in and fixed the roof, cleaned it out, and fixed it up, and now it's not vacant anymore. So the rat population has gone way down. And um, um, hopefully one day it will it will go severely down. Still have quite a few of them uh, that that bother me. Um, the ugly things are um, poop, 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 poop. Everything poops. The rabbits poop, the quails poop, it's stinky, it's messy. But on the good thing is I turn that ugly, ugly, sightly, nasty, smelly, yucky stuff into great fertilizer. For my plants and it helps them to uh, grow better and then I don't have to put all the chemicals on I, I refuse to use uh, chemicals on my plants I would rather it go totally gone than to spray anything on it um, that's not natural. Um, the ugly days are the days that my health are so bad that I can't get out of bed. But in that ugliness, when I'm lying in bed and I can't get out of bed, I can dream about Picking off the the uh, suckers off of my tomato plants, or harvesting eighteen five-gallon buckets of mangoes this year, or dream about the food that I am going to make when I'm able to eat again, or um. It's all about the way that you turn things. Ugly things don't always have to stay ugly. They can turn into the most beautiful things. Um, I like to always look at what God's created from all kinds of ways. Just because something isn't the greatest doesn't mean that it can't be the greatest. That poop that those little varmints give us, it goes into the ground and it feeds all kinds of things. It, it even feeds like um, chickens. They can eat the worms and stuff that come out of that if I had chickens which I plan on getting one of these days. Um, when I get through with the ugly peelings and the stuff from the mangoes and trying to get rid of all that stuff that's waste that other people would throw in the garbage can, I turn it into compost. I put it in my compost bins. I have a couple of great big round um, um, planters that I keep 
putting uh, compost and uh, uh, raw material like you know the mangoes and the seeds and all that kind of stuff in there and then I put the uh, wood chips on top of it and I just let it compost down however it wants to well when I turn those when I when I move that I know that it's working because it's hot I can literally pull that pull that uh, that mulch back and put my hand down on it and it is warm it is like getting into a hot bathtub and the worms oh my goodness the earthworms love it so therefore I can I turn that poop into nice Food for the earthworms I take those earthworms and give them to my quail and I grow different things that the that the rabbits love the rabbits love broccoli they love uh, collards they love just about everything that I grow in the garden now I do not give them any tomatoes or uh, stuff like that uh, because it's toxic you know anything that I know is toxic I don't give, give to them um, but they love squash my quails my quails will eat squash zucchini and uh, cucumbers and I mean all kinds of stuff and sometimes when I when I when I um, when I'm feeling really good and I harvested something I uh, I I warm it up and give it to my quails so that it, it's softer for them to be able to eat and digest like say I make you know carrots or something like that they like that stuff I kind of spoil my animals the bad thing is people say to me I don't know how you can do that. I don't know how you can raise something and then kill it and eat it. Well, number one, I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm harvesting it because that's what it was meant for. I believe that's what um, I should be doing for my health. And... I give them love and I give them treats and I give them special life that they wouldn't have had somewhere else and I give them of myself and that enjoyment of, of being able to fulfill that circle that God has given me makes me happy that I can that I can uh, have such great food and I'm learning even things that I never never dreamed I would learn how to do uh, I never had any any thought about dehydrating and I'm learning that world of dehydration um, I want to get into fermentation um, I'm learning a lot from um, uh, uh, rain country uh, Heidi has some really great things on her channel about uh, um, fermentation and stuff like that and I'm learning tons and tons of stuff from Rose constantly about uh, things that grow in the wild that I could get uh, for different medicinal purposes and stuff like that I am really enjoying learning and and trying these new things. Um, I have a dream of getting some comfrey so that I can grow that here and um, be another uh, positive thing on on my homestead. Um, I seem to have a lot of of favor with fruits and stuff like that. The ugly thing is I put out four four uh, 
gardens this year for the spring garden and I have had problems with moles, the heat, uh, burning things up and the rain pounding things down and I mean just absolutely had terrible time. Now the rain has caused so much growth and the heat and everything that my garden's overgrown but things are still growing and they're still doing good. I'm going to go back to the best garden I had was uh, where I put uh, uh, cardboard down and um, put pine shavings on top and I used the banana leaves that I had in my garden to uh, to cover the ground so that it would stay uh, from getting dry. I have really sandy dirty black dirt sandy soil um, and things seem to grow really good but that that dust and dirt blows so bad when you try to garden without anything that's covering the dirt so I'm going to go back to that this fall um, I'm going to go through and pull out everything out of the garden again um, it's about that time and I am going to get my my uh, plants started and I'm going to try to get them in a bigger uh, state so that they will grow better this time around. That is devastating when you have that many failures but pick yourself up. It's only a thing. Keep trying. You'll get it right. One of these days, I will get it right to where it was before. Um, one of these days, I'll be able to go out there and garden every single day for hours at a time. And I won't have the kind of health problems that I have right now. Just keep on striving. That's what I keep telling people. You, you can't ever do anything if you give up. God don't want me to give up. He left me here on this earth for a reason. I lived through some really bad stuff. So, the good and the bad and the ugly, I say the good outweighs all of it. So keep on homesteading. Don't forget to like, sh share, and subscribe. And I'll see you ne next time here on Living Miracle Homestead. Bye now.